Hi guys, uh, Jay Martin. I just want to show you a, a technique I use for uh, walleye fishing. And it's uh, it's a little different than most. I use a bait caster. I have a Predator Elite uh, from Streamside here, uh, 7 one medium heavy. And uh, I use 20 to 30 pound braided line and a bucktail. What I like about a bucktail is um, uh, how these pickerel hit are when you pull up, the, the hair flares out as it drops and that's typically when you get a hit when they hit it's just a thump it's not bass can be different bass are uh, they can take it on the fall they just open up the mouth or they pick it up just throwing their gills up it's not as aggressive it's just a, a great feeling um, the other thing I like about it is when, when we used to have the walleye events uh, when we didn't have the slot limits it was like practicing uh, prior to bass so you, you're a month before and you're already in that jigging technique it is different techniques which I'll explain here um, not as aggressive as uh, or this is more aggressive technique than it is for bass because I'm trying to get this bucktail to look like a minnow when it flares out and come down whereas uh, typically when I'm jigging with a pig and jig it's uh, it's mainly a crayfish which stays on the bottom so this is a technique very similar to bass in casting just a pendulum pitch out let the ball let the uh, bucktail go straight down take some line out reel up to it and i double twitch it straight up but then i let it fall on slack line so that that um, that bucktail can go straight down and typically these pickerel hit um, when the bait's on the fall and a lot of times they can't resist it even if they're full it's funny yesterday uh, I was on a different lake and I caught uh, an oversize and it had a huge perch down its throat when I brought it in but because uh, I was fishing with a bucktail it couldn't resist it and grabbed it anyways guys I just want to give you that little technique and uh, also just mention this rod it's like I said the 7-1 Predator Elite Really lightweight, very well priced, um, great rod for this type of technique and can be used for bass as well. Thanks guys.